Today we're driving the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. This is an XLT Super Crew. It has the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 EcoBoost motor. All F-150s now come standard with a 10-speed automatic transmission. The base price on this F-150 is around $43,000. And as spec with some options, it's over 54,000 bucks. We're just gonna give you some first impressions on what this new F-150 is like. This particular truck is lacking some of the features that are all new for the 2021 F-150, but we can at least give you an idea of what this thing is like inside and out. I like that Ford didn't really go overboard with redesigning this truck. It still looks very familiar. It's definitely recognizable as an F-150. This whole truck was redesigned, but it doesn't look that different from the previous model. The F-150 has always been one of my favorite trucks on sale, and these last couple generations really have been go-to options for me personally if I ever needed a truck. I think it's only recently until the Ram 1500 kind of overtook the F-150 in terms of luxury and comfort and features, but in my mind, this has always kind of been the top option. The Super Crew is very spacious inside and out. One cool thing I really like about this truck is you get a little map of Detroit right here on the side of the door sill. We have lots of faux metal accents, this kind of brushed plastic on the steering wheel. I think it all looks pretty good. If you kind of bang around on it though, it feels a little bit cheaper. Also, big thanks to Gene Butman Ford in Ypsilanti, Michigan for letting me drive this F-150 today. Let's take this thing for a drive and see what it's like on the road. We've got auto up and down driver and passenger front windows. I love the visibility in this new F-150. This lower door panel and the greenhouse that you get in here is fantastic. Even these mirrors look pretty cool too. We've got a nice big center display here in the gauge cluster. There are lots of different menus and screens to give you the information that you want. This XLT has a really nice reverse camera and 360 camera. We've got a few different options where you can go through, make this full screen, see various points. You've got a truck bed camera that shows you your center line, and of course, a trailer camera. We don't have anything attached right now. This gear selector is kind of neat in that it stows down there for as a flat surface. This particular F-150 doesn't have the lay flat table right here. I think that's like a three or four hundred dollar option, but that is a pretty neat feature in the 2021 F-150. I don't love the way this shifter engages and feels. It feels a little bit toyish and cheap, but that's okay. Once you get this F-150 on the road though, it does drive really, really well. This 2.7 EcoBoost is incredibly quiet. It's very, very smooth, and the ride quality here almost doesn't feel truck-like. We have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, both standard. We will also be doing a sound system test in this video, so stay tuned for that at the end. I am very excited to drive the hybrid variants and the different versions of this F-150, but this XLT, chances are, is probably what most people will be buying to use as their truck. A lot of these higher trim options get pretty pricey and pretty expensive. There are a lot of cool storage solutions throughout this F-150. Lots of pockets and places to put things. Uh, nice areas for your mobile device. You've got a room in front of the shifter here. A couple of cup holders. There's a little storage cubby here in the dash. Lots of solutions all throughout to give you plenty of usable space in this truck. These visors give you a ton of coverage. They even slide.
Ford's done some really nice work tuning this 10-speed auto. It's so much smoother and nicer to drive than the last 10-speed auto that I drove with an EcoBoost in the previous generation F-150. The drivability of this new truck is really fantastic. Uh, the brake pedal feels nice. The suspension tuning is really good, even over those railroad tracks. The body feels stiff and rigid. And you can hear just a little bit of a whisper from those turbos. I'm also very impressed by the level of noise or the lack of noise in the cabin. It's very, very quiet. There's very little wind noise, road, tire noise. You feel very isolated, very comfortable in this F-150. Yeah, very impressed with how smooth this 10-speed is. There's even a little display to the left that shows you what gear you're in. It does a really nice job downshifting. It's not hunting for gears constantly, at least at lower speeds here on these back roads. Handling is impressive too. It's flat, predictable, not a lot of drama. This 2.7 EcoBoost is surprisingly torquey. You really don't have to rev it out much at all to get power out of it. The transmission seamlessly drops a couple gears to give you a little bit of extra torque, but yeah, I really do like this drivetrain. This 2.7 is kind of a sweet spot. We've got 325 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. It's rated for 19 miles to the gallon in the city and 24 on the highway. We're on a pretty rough section of road right now, and at higher speeds, this thing really smooths out. This would be a very comfortable truck to drive on rough back roads, off-road, or just on Michigan <laughs> paved roads that are basically uh, off-road situations these days. All right, let's go in and listen to a couple tracks here with our sound system test. Upon first impressions, I'm really impressed with this new F-150, even just in this XLT form. This feels like a very nice, pleasant evolution of the previous generation. They've gotten a lot of high points right. The infotainment and tech is really easy to use. It's very simple. The SYNC 4 system is nice. It's kind of weird not having a, a home screen, but honestly, as long as you're in the screen that you need, I don't really see a home screen as an absolute necessity. I think people will get used to it. The sound system sounds pretty good. For a $40,000, $50,000 truck, it's not amazing, but I think it'll do for most people's needs. You can always upgrade. The drivability and road manners of this F-150 are definitely the high points for me. This just feels so refined and nice to drive on the street. This would be such a livable and usable truck. And there are so many configurations you can get these things in. It's almost endless the type of options and combinations that you could spec with one of these F-150s. I'm glad to see that Ford has done some work to smooth out this 10-speed transmission. However, there are still some pretty rough jerks at lower speeds. So they haven't done it 100%. Again, once I get some more time behind the wheel of one of these trucks, uh, we'll learn a little bit more about them. But for now, this has just been a first impressions drive to give you guys an idea of what this is like to drive initially. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.